In this video we're going to look at another demonstration circuit where we use the voltage doubler. The uh, last one was really popular, hopefully this one is as well. We improved it a bit, still not perfect, but in uh, any case we have a couple of, uh, I used uh, blue LEDs, green, they both have the same forward voltage. So two of them in series, you need about 6 volts for them to conduct. They're off right now, but you're going to see that uh, when I start pressing the button, there they go, they light up uh, pretty brightly. So we don't actually double the voltage because we have a couple diode drops. Now, this isn't a perfect circuit. Um, it'd be better to switch it digitally. Mechanical switch uh, is actually, actually very impractical. I can even uh, signal from my body can alternate the uh, transistors and uh, get a better effect than the mechanical switch. But uh, the mechanical switch helps to illustrate how the basic principles of how this works. So for a quick explanation of what's going on, the uh, gray band for the diodes are right there. That lets them go positive to negative when it comes to the current. So we have uh, five volts going through a couple of diodes and at very low current, uh, maybe we can get you know four volts, but probably somewhere between 3.5 to four volts will uh, charge that capacitor and that'll be the voltage across the load. As you can see, the LEDs are off completely. That's not enough voltage. There's another current path when the uh, transistor here, the 2N7000, is on, which it is most of the time in this circuit. We'll talk about that uh, coming up. So that charges that capacitor. It makes a direct connection to ground for the most part. So we got uh, 5 uh, volts minus about 0.6 approximately. So a little more than 4.4 uh, 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 probably. The, that capacitor will charge up to. Now, so you can see that uh, right there when we're connected to ground. When we uh, switch it, then we turn off the uh, end channel enhancement mode uh, transistor there, uh, MOSFET, and turn on the uh, P channel. So they're both enhancement mode right there. So it turns it on, turns that one off. We see a pretty much a full five volts across the capacitor. As I said before, it probably built up about 4.5 approximately uh, volts. So we're gonna get about 9.5, actually a little shy, at uh, this point here and it's going to go through this diode drop in a diode drop so probably a little less than nine uh, being pumped into that capacitor so it's going to be like eight and a half to nine volts after you consider the uh, voltage drops but that also goes across the load so the load is going to start pulling that voltage down so we need to keep repeating the process so charging that uh, capacitor and then uh, pumping that charge with the extra voltage from the supply into that capacitor. And for those that it helps to see uh, the pin layout. So we got the 2N7000 here, it's in a TO92 uh, package. The uh, BS250 is in an E-line uh, package. So it looks different. The part numbers though are both facing towards the capacitor here, the right. The uh, BS250 is wider in the back. They're both flat, but uh, the front has the part number. So in any case, we have the drains together the gates are one row away on uh, both sides there, and then the source is two rows away. You can see the source to the 2N7000 goes to the negative supply, directly to ground. And from this angle, you can see this little blue jumper connects the gates directly together. They see the same voltage, and we have the uh, source to the BS250 top pin there going directly to the positive supply. And now we'll look at the switch setup. So in some videos, when I have this uh, set up with the MOSFETs, I go directly to positive supply or negative supply. But here you can see this point will uh, sometimes be connected to positive and sometimes to negative. So we need a resistor, because if we close this switch without a resistor, there'll be a short circuit from positive to negative. So uh, we can use 10,000 ohm resistor, you can see positive supply, to the jumper coming to the gates. We can use a pretty high value uh, resistor. The gates hardly need any current to switch and once they do switch uh, they don't even need any current anymore. So just a small amount of current moves uh, when they're switching. Now if we close the push button switch, so that holds a high input as I said before which uh, gives us a low output and keeps that capacitor charged most of the time in this circuit. Now we close the switch we get a direct connection to ground to the gates. Whatever current goes through the one or 10,000 ohm resistor, I mean, goes directly to ground. So they just see zero volts, and at that point, that turns off the 2N7000, 
and turns on the BS250 and we get our uh, pump right there. We get that extra voltage going across the uh, capacitor and pumping that charge into that capacitor. So in any case, uh, we're going to end it there. So there are ways to improve this, digital switching and whatnot, but I think uh, having the uh, push-pull configuration with the MOSFET uh, transistors there is probably one of the best ways to uh, improve the basic part of this circuit. Just uh, better ways of switching it than a mechanical switch. So we'll cover that in different videos. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.